So I think it's time for a little video uh, back to the Leica Q2. It's about accessories this time. A lot of people ask me questions uh, in the comment section below my Leica Q2 videos. Uh, what is the protector you have on your camera? Can you use the uh, hand grip from the Leica Q also on the Q2? All these kind of questions. Um, I got this week my um, original Leica Q2 hand grip. It's uh, Genie and Leica. You see it on the hologram here. I already unboxed it, so it's not an unboxing video what I'm going to show, but I want to talk briefly about these two types of accessories, the protector as well as the hand grip. And uh, first of all, what you see here is my uh, Leica Q. It's the Kaki edition. It's a limited edition to 495 pieces. I will keep it because I think it is a beauty of a camera. I super like it. Uh, I think also the uh, chrome or silver design with that green color is just a perfect match. So I like it a lot. I will keep it. I will not sell it, not trade it in. Um, what I have here is my Leica Q2. I was probably one of the first to get it in Zurich and probably globally in general. There are lots of reviews on YouTube already, but a supply for that camera is kind of rare. I just asked the, you know, the head of the Leica store in Zurich if they have now additional supply and he said no for the last month. There was not an additional piece for sale coming in. Uh, from the manufacturer, so it's still a rare camera and I like the camera a lot. I saw a lot of uh, criticism also by some YouTubers on the Leica Q2 and its features, maybe too expensive or, you know, I also made a video on constraints you have in ISO and shutter speed. Yes, there are constraints, but it is a beautiful camera. It makes terrific pictures and I just love the handling. But one thing I was missing and on my Leica Q1, I used always this hand grip here. So let's mount this for a moment to see how it looks like. This is the Leica Q and the Leica Q hand grip. And now what you see here is you have a much better grip to hold the camera. It's more steady, it's more firm. And I like that a lot because if you don't have that, I think that body is still a little bit slippy besides the texture you have here. Uh, so there is some texture on the Leica Q2 which makes it a bit better to hold, but I think it's still slippy if you hold it that way. It's not big enough, it's not firm enough and not steady enough. So I like hand grips. And uh, what I tried first when I got my Leica Q2 and still had the Leica Q of course, and as I said, I'm going to keep it. I was unscrewing the hand grip from the Leica Q in order to find out if it could still work on the Q2. So let's look at the two cameras for a moment. What you can guess is that uh, your mount here for the tripod is basically in the same place and location at the bottom plate of the cameras. So that should actually work. And it was one of the first things I tried out when I had unboxed my Leica Q2. I was taking the hand grip and mounting it. And at my first view, I was kind of cheerio, this is working. Uh, because you can screw it on, it's uh, a nice fit here. But then I realized the gap here on that side is larger. So there must be something on the way blocking a full screwing on. And uh, you see it here, I tried to show it in the camera. There is here a little piece of metal in almost a triangle form coming out of the bottom plate. And uh, I figured out then that this is exactly matching the spare out here at the battery compartment uh, door. So this is exactly fitting into here. So if we mount this on the Q and not on the Q2, that gap here is gone and it's quite nice. It fits perfectly because that little piece of metal here is just going into that spare out on the battery door. We don't have this on the uh, Leica Q2. If you look at the Leica Q2, the battery mechanism has completely changed. So you basically pull that lever and it's snapping out, but the battery is still secure. You have to push it gently again, and then you can replace the battery. It's actually a very nice mechanism, reminds me the Hasselblad X1D and also the Leica SL. Quite nice, quite solid, and carefully thought through. Now, since I got my hand grip for the Q2 now, there is no longer this piece of metal. It's all soft here. And um, if you compare the two, placing them side by side, you see the difference. And uh, my first thought when I realized that was it's a little bit annoying that Leica did include that piece of metal at all. I don't think it's necessary for getting it in a stable way mounted on the Leica Q. 
So it's just that it, they make you buying another accessory for every new piece of camera and new version, which is a little bit annoying, a little bit like with Apple when they introduced the lightning cable and you changed everything and then they changed now on the iPad Pro to the UB. USB-C, which is uh, the new standard, and then you start purchasing all these accessories uh, from scratch again, which is expensive and I think also unnecessary. So a bit more standardization, a bit more thinking for the next generation in terms of electronic gadgets would be actually very consumer friendly. But nevertheless, let's mount now the uh, hand grip for the Q2 onto the Q2. And you see now here, this is firm, this is very good, very solid. It gives me the kind of grip I want to have on the camera when I'm going to shoot a uh, handhold here. And it's also fitting nicely, it's matching, looks very good, very solid. I also like that we have a tripod mount here on that hand grip, so I can still, if I have it mounted on the camera, still have an option to mount the whole thing on a tripod, which is good. This doesn't work on the protector, and I come to the protector in a moment. There is nothing to mount uh, the uh, the um, protector mounted on the camera and then mounted on a tripod because um, your tripod your tripod hole is basically consumed already by the screw by the screw of the protector anyway so this is now the constellation I will use I like it I have the option of the tripod I have a firm grip I can firmly hold it in my hand I can uh, handhold shoot and I like it in that way let's mount the um, Q hand grip back on the Leica Q here. So this is all settled. We don't need this one. Let's at the very end talk a little bit about the protector. So this is the um, protector for the Leica Q. And since the um, place for mounting a tripod at the bottom plate of the Leica Q2 is in exactly the same location as on the Leica Q, also here I wanted to try out whether the protector is fitting. And it actually is. But I show you the floor in a moment. Um, let's see if we can maybe get the camera stacked on top of each other for a moment, like this. If you look at that and you compare the location of the viewfinder, the viewfinder of the Leica Q2 is a little bit more from my perspective to the left hand side. And that makes a difference for the protector. So whereas the protector on this side here is exactly matching the shape and the form of the Leica Q, this piece here gets a little bit close to the viewfinder if you mount it on the Q2. So let's try this out. So we get this in here, we open the compartment door, we screw it on. Good to go. So it fits, if you look from the back, it fits. It fits also here, it keeps the space if you want to use a strap. But if you look to the viewfinder, since the viewfinder on the Leica Q2 is more on the left hand side than on the Leica Q, you see this is not exactly matching here. It's a little bit pushed aside and it's not a smooth and nice fit as we had it on the Leica Q. Nevertheless, I used it on my Leica Q2 for quite a while because there was no supply to get a new protector tailor-made for the Leica Q2, so I used it. It's giving me protection, it's giving me some grip here. I think that leather here is nicely made. Um, but it's not an optimal fit. That's all I wanted to say. I hope people enjoyed that video. Um, over time, we'll see more accessories coming out and being available in stores for the Leica Q2. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And many thanks for watching. I just realized I forgot two important things to mention. First of all, if you mount the hand grip of the Leica Q onto the Leica Q2, it will very likely damage your battery because that little piece of metal I was showing sticking out of the bottom of the Leica Q hand grip has no spare out here as it has on the battery door of the Leica Q, so I would not recommend mounting the Q hand grip on a Q2. That's the first thing I want to add. The second thing I want to add is a tiny little detail, but I think it really matters at least to me. If, uh, if you look at the Leica Q2 as it stands now on the firm surface of that table, and I think I've shown to people in my macro video on the Leica Q2 that I had to put something below the lens in order to make it stand straight. If you want to place it on a surface, it's always falling down forward, basically, on the lens hood, which is not, uh, which is not a feature I typically like. That changes completely if you mount a hand grip. So let's just try this out. 
And I know it's a tiny little detail, but sometimes the tiny little details make life much easier. Now, if you have the hand grip mounted and you place it on a surface like the table, it's standing firm. It's no longer by itself falling down on the lens hood, it's standing firm. And for me, that really matters. Again, thanks for watching.